Hello everybody and welcome to Redmen TV and your latest edition of the Transfer Insight Show. My name's Dan Club. I will be your host as ever and I'm delighted to say I am joined by the Chief Sport Reporter from the very reputable sport build in Germany, Toby Altschaffel. Toby, how are you doing? You good? I'm very good and your pronunciation of my name becomes better and better every time. It's just perfect. I was going to ask you, I was going to ask you if it got better. I've been, all morning, I've been busy, but I've been thinking about that all morning. It's been in the back of my mind. Uh, I'm glad it's better. I appreciate that. So we're here to talk about uh, Bushy Munching Gladbach midfielder Manu Kone, of course, because you yourself broke the news that has spread far and wide that Liverpool are interested in the 22-year-old Frenchman. So I guess the best place to start is tell us what you know so far. Well, Liverpool is very interested in uh, Manu Kone. I mean, he's not uh, the rising star of Bundesliga or he's not uh, like Jude Bellingham or something like that. But he's a very good, very strong player, a uh, midfielder, of course. And uh, I think there were talks already between uh, Liverpool and uh, the side of Kone. And, um, well, it's not uh, like the, the biggest transfer that it will take weeks and weeks or months uh, because it's not 100 million, it's only... 30, 40, maybe. So mm -hmm. I think it could happen. Yeah, well, I certainly hope so because Liverpool need midfielders. Liverpool need midfielders badly. And in terms of the fee you mentioned there, that would make a lot of sense for Liverpool because we need a few. Uh, we're not going to all be signing 100 million pound players. That's why we back away from the Jude Bellingham deal, of course, because of the money. Um, I wanted to ask you something on this because you described the, inter the interest as being big from Liverpool. Now, is it a coincidence that Liverpool appoint Jörg Schmadke, a man who knows the Bundesliga brilliantly well, has spent all his time in the Bundesliga? Is it a coincidence that Liverpool appoint him and hours later are interested in the Bundesliga midfielder? Well, I don't think so, to be honest. But uh, on the on the other hand, you know, Jürgen Klopp uh, is uh, looking at uh, the Bundesliga all the time. So he was, for example, into Rhein Grabenberg. I think we talked about him last yeah. time before Jörg Schmadtke came. And Gravenberg is uh, uh, also not the, the, the big player of this season. He didn't play a lot, but uh, Klopp knew his potential. Mm -hmm. And now Klopp knows the potential of uh, Kone and also Schmadtke, of course, because Schmadtke knows all the players from uh, Bundesliga. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I said, uh, Kone was not playing all the time on the highest level. But for example, when Mönchengladbach won against uh, Bayern Munich 5-0 in the uh, German Cup, he was exceptional he was one of the best players and also when Gladbach won in Munich 2-1 he played very well mm -hmm. so when it needs to be the highest level he can show the highest level and that's why I think uh, it could be a good solution for Liverpool because uh, in Mönchengladbach they are just average in, in Bundesliga they had a lot of problems mm -hmm. uh, and there was like a French connection where he was only with the French guys and he was not uh, always in the training on the highest level, etc. And maybe in Liverpool, he can develop really well. Yeah, hopefully. And it's funny you mentioned those two Bayern Munich games. I've seen those games mentioned so much today since the Kone links came out. Liverpool, everyone's or Liverpool fans are just talking about those two Bayern Munich games where he really shone and expressed himself in. You mentioned there that he's had problems in munching glad back in terms of, I suppose, settling in and not quite, you know, flourishing, if you like, and playing to the best of his ability. He's under contract there at the moment, I believe, until 2025. But you mentioned in your report that munching glad back need quick income, essentially. And it's already obvious that he will leave this summer. Do you believe that is definitely going to be the case? I think so, because uh, Gladbach has a lot of problems. I think they have to manage to get a, a completely new team because uh, they really did not do good in the, the last season. And so the Kone money could like give them some uh, possibilities to, to buy some new players and... Mm -hmm. uh, I think they know that it uh, makes sense for them to sell him in this summer, yes. OK, and on the fee, you've already mentioned a couple of possible figures in terms of the 30, 35 million mark. Is there interest from elsewhere in Kone? Euro, Euro. Euro yeah, sorry. Euro, I must apologise, yeah. Uh, is there interest elsewhere in him? Are Liverpool the main in front of the queue right now? Or is there other Premier League interest? I mean, Tottenham have been linked in the past. Is anyone else keen? I think Chelsea was uh, sometimes uh, linked with uh, Kone and also PSG, but uh, I think Liverpool, they are now on the top, top of the race. 
Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed that little snippet of a show that I did. If you want to watch that show in its entirety, head over to Redmen Plus and become a club captain yearly subscriber. And if you use the code YEAR, that's Y-E-A-R, you will get that for 50% off. What an absolute boss deal that is. Get over there and do it. Watch that show in full and also many other shows that we have for you over there. Go on, I'll see you there.